I'm coming. I'm coming. Snack. Snack. Ah, I can't walk my oh, leg. Ah. Oh, just, just hold it tight. Ah. 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 My leg. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Ah. This terror <laughs> with this harm that I have done to you, nothing will happen to you again. Okay? Thank you very uh, much. I'm grateful. Yes, for saving my life. But you look very beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, <laughs> what is your name? My name is Ma. Ma. Ah, you are beautiful. That is <laughs> real Ma. Uh, okay. Thank you. Let me walk you home. No, I can walk by myself. Uh, are you sure? Yeah. Thank you. Thank Let you me. very much. Mm. All right. <laughs> Maybe next time, eh? Okay. Ma. Oh. Oh, Ma. Ma. Chai. Beautiful. Yeah. Bye. Chai. You got a face. Ma. Ma. Seriously, seriously. Welcome, welcome. Seriously, so tired. Hey! It's serious. Very seriously. Sun is too much today. Yeah. But I did a whole lot in the farm. And Papa, let me get you water. Please get me water. I'm very thirsty. Hey. Uh, Rada, are you done cooking? Yes. I'm hungry. Papa, this is not your, you're in one of your best moods today. What is happening? <laughs> My son, you see, you have a way of dictating when I'm in good mood and bad mood, and that's very good of you, my dear. Um, you see, today I met a very, very beautiful damsel. And when I say beautiful, she is beautiful and beautiful. So, um, <laughs> I, I want to bring her in, marry her, and keep her as my wife. She's beautiful. <laughs> Papa, I know you're joking. Eh? Papa, I know you're not serious. Oh, excuse me, what do you mean by I'm joking? I'm talking something that is serious to me. Don't you see how I feel? I feel infatuated. <laughs> how can you bring in a maid in, in, into this house to get married to her? Go and bring my food. Or will I marry you? Forget about this matter. I'll handle it myself. Wait, wait, wait. your business. Papa. Huh? <laughs> you, you're not joking, are you? So why should I joke? You know when I'm joking and when I'm not joking. I'm very serious about it. Papa, you're joking. This girl is sexy. Papa, you're joking. Yes. How did it go? We fell for it. Mm. Though I wasn't expecting any bad news. But um, they didn't tell you anything. Mm. With a look in his eyes, I think he really wants me. <laughs> nice one. Now my revenge starts. I can't wait paying him back for betraying me. Hmm. If I may ask, sir, what exactly did this man do to you that make you want to destroy him? Ma, you won't understand. Look, that man used to be my only brother. What? 
Don't worry. I'll just do it for you. After all the things I told you, you still went and choose my brother over me. Knowing fully well that I'm better off than him. Hey, Uju, can you imagine? Ilu, leave him like that for me. I love him that way. In fact, that is the major reason why I love him. Alright? So, Uju, let me tell you, I can do better than him. Oh. Eh? In fact, if you go around this village and ask, they will tell you that I'm a kind of a strong machine that can jam on them very well. Come now, let me see. If I tell you this in you enter now, and would you please? Ilu, please. Very soon I will be your brother's wife. Eh? So please take your eyes off me. Mm. Alright? I don't want you. You can never be mine and can never would you? like you. Alright? Would you? Would you? So you're running away, would you? Yes. You're running away. What are you? Oh, don't worry. I will get you. This thing you're shaking for me. One day, I promise you. I will lay my hands on it. And when I do, you will hear from me. Come, Ilu. So you have the gods to rape my only sister? Eh? Ah. Me, you raped your sister. See, let me tell you, it was even your sister that came to me and uh, demanded for the... Ah. This, after I given it to her, she even requested for more. And you are here saying I raped your sister. Hey, see, let me tell you. If you love for one thing, eh? If you love for one thing in this community, eh? Ah! See, you are going to wound yourself. Look at, you see palm three here that you're supposed to go and grab. And you are grabbing ordinary plantain this thing. You will spoil it, oh. See, let me tell you. If not that I'm in my good mood today, I would have broken this or remaining leg. Look at you. See, let me warn you, don't stop you on the way again. Because what I will do to you, you will not like it. You just walk like somebody I don't know. See, don't try me, oh. Don't worry. You are going to suffer for this. You suffer for this. Please. There is no need. You are already suffering this thing, oh. You are already suffering it. You don't have your time. <laughs> for now, I have a very important thing to do. See, you see this, your leg. I know it's a suffering from your parents. I don't know where you get it from. I but I see you. your suffering increasing. But for me, you I enjoy your sister, they go. No problem. I was on my way to your house. Thank the ghost. I found the head. I hope all is well. All is not well at all. You see your brother Ilu? He raped my sister. Ah! I tried to approach him. Instead of him to apologize, he threatened to break my leg. This one, no, not this one. This particular one. Hey. Not this one I'm doing taking take move. Oh. This one. Please, my brother. Ah. Calm down. Okay? You know he's my younger brother. Uh -huh. I will give him serious warning if I get home now. The, the, the most painful side of it. Eh? He doesn't even agree that he has offended anybody or he has offended you in any way. Uh -huh. Why is he like that, Steph? That is the problem I have with him. But my brother, please calm down. Don't allow any ear, anybody to hear of this. Let it be between you and I, please. I will handle him. When next, I heard shake him, shake him. I said, shake him. The chairman of this community must hear it. The complaint will start from them first Please, before okay. your house. Just do the. Oh, no, don't worry, I've said it all. You better warn him. You better warn him. Thank you, thank you for giving me the confidence. Please. Hey, 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 what have I done to you? Listen, <laughs> listen. Vincent, how many times have I warned you in this house to stay away from everything that concerns me? You don't want to listen. I don't want your advice. I don't want your help. Just leave me alone. You have seen your problem. Ilu, simple advice you cannot take. Ilu, have you forgotten that you are my only brother? No father, no mother. It's only you and I. Ilu, how can I see you doing something that is wrong? And I, I, I fold my hand and watch you 
Go astray. No. I must advise you. As what? Eh? As my father or my mother. Or my personal advisor. As what? Don't dare me. Don't dare me in this house. Enough. I said enough. This insult is getting out of hand. Let me warn you. I've heard what you just said. I will never interfere again. But if you get into trouble one day, don't call me. Vincent, you are very stupid for saying that. You are very stupid. I, Ilu, stop insulting me. You will be the one to get Stop insulting me or else I slap you. Slap me. In this house, I have told you, don't you ever advise me again. No problem. Vincent! 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 On a new mother. Vincent! On a new mother. Vincent! 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 Would you? Why is it that someone cannot sleep in his house and have rest? Why are you disturbing us? Eh? Don't you know that when you call someone and the person doesn't answer, it means that it's either the person is inside and doesn't want to answer you or the person is not around? Eh? Why do you like talking to me like that? Eh? Have I ever disrespected you before? Would you? You are very stupid. You are very stupid for talking to me like that. Who are you? Now? It is you that is stupid. You are very mad. In fact, you are mad. Who do you mean? Mad? Yes, you are stupid. You are mad. Look at this girl. You are talking to me like this. And yes, yes. You are talking to me. How like you do? Let me hear how you talk back at me again. You. Hello. Listen. What have you done to her? Not you know. Hello, you have kid her? No, kid, okay. no. I can't kill her now. Uju, she cannot die. Would you? Wake up, would you? Ah. Hey. You have the gut to kill the only girl that what the whole world to me. This is, you know, it's not my intention, though. You know, I've not killed before. Eh? Please. My I didn't kill her. Uju. I didn't kill her. You please. must pay for this. The whole villagers must hear of this today. Aye, aye. No, 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 Vincent, please, no. Ah, please. You know I'm your only brother now, eh? And you know what the villagers will do if they hear of this? They are going to bury me alive. Please, I'm your only brother. I know you don't want me. me to die, yo. Hey, you are heartless. You went and killed the only girl that what the whole world to me. Vincent, and you expected me, expected me to, uh, uh, to, to keep the secret for you. Vincent, please. The whole please. Ezekiel Park will please, know now, Vincent, please. what you just did. Please. Today, please. Ezekiel Park! Ezekiel Park! No, 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 no. You see that my only brother, Vincent, will prefer to have me killed because of another person's child. I ran to a distant land for 32 good years, hiding my own identity. He thought I'm dead. But it will be his own funeral. The bangle I gave to you is specially prepared for his own destruction. So why didn't you set an ambush for him and kill him? Instead of going a stressful process. No, 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 no. I don't want it that way. I don't want it that way. Because I want him and his uh, uh, entire generation, his children, to be wiped off from the surface of the earth. That is why I don't want it that way. For 32 good years, I've been waiting for this opportunity. Vincent, Vincent, I must pay you back for all the things you have done against me. But if I may ask, sir, he didn't really do anything wrong to you. Please shut your lips. Now listen and listen, God. What you need to do is just to focus on the assignment I gave to you. You understand me? And do you know what will happen if you don't do it? Because Vincent must marry you. And after that one, we go to level two. You get me right? That is how we're going to do it. He has started asking questions about me. 
Question like. Question like, who are my parents? Where is my father from? All of that. Then who are your parents? My parents are dead and you know it. Did you tell him that? No, I did not. Why? I want to stand as my parents. Are you stupid? Don't you have brain? I told him my parents died when I was 10 years old. Better. And he invited me to his place tomorrow. <laughs> now you're talking. Now let's not let them go. As you're going to see him, make sure with, you're with the bangle. Anytime he invites you to come, always go with the bangle. You get me right? Don't forget it anytime, any day. <laughs> the job has started. Who's up? 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 Uh, this is Uma, the girl I told you about that I want to marry. And I have proposed to this lovely girl, and she has accepted my proposal. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I don't want to stand rude here. Papa, you already proposed to her, and she accepted. Yes. You accepted to marry a man who's old enough to be your father? So will you shut up? What's wrong with you? What is wrong with you? What is your business? I want to marry a girl. Papa, nothing is wrong with me. As long as, as I am concerned, this girl is not coming into this house. What kind of thing is this? <laughs> this is my house, my dear. Eh? With your concern or without your concern, Ma is my wife and she's moving into this house in the next two days after I would have done the marriage. As what, Papa? As my wife. As my wife. Oh, as your wife. Yes. You. See, Ma, or whatever they call you. You are not moving into this family. You are not coming here unless you want to dance with the fire. Rubbish. What nonsense? Excuse me. Papa, look at her. Papa. Huh? Papa, you do again. Honey, huh? your children don't like me. Look at her talking rubbish. Honey, your children don't like me. Don't mind them. Are they the ones you are going to marry? It is me that you are coming to marry. What is your business with them? Can they give me what you give me? Can they? Okay. Eh? They can't. Eh? And my libido has been in a mess since I, my wife, I lost my wife many years ago. Hey, hey, Ada. What else is something, please? Is it true your father? He's planning to take an another wife. You know how much I hate discussing my family affairs. I'll have about that. I know I'm not the gossip type. I just want to know. But if I talk about it, then forget it. Well, yes, my father wants to get another wife. Eh? But over my life body, will I allow that to happen? It will not. Ada, don't sound like that. If your father wants to get married, all you need to do is to support him. Ngozi. Ada. See, let me tell you something. Do you know your father is a very good man? And everybody knows that. And he wants the best for you and your brother, Uzo. If getting married will make him happy, just try and support him. Don't stop it. My sister, it's not even only getting married that is my problem. He's getting married to a girl of my age. Is it possible? It doesn't matter. Eh? Even though, yes, if you want to get married, you should go above like 35, 40 years. I don't care. Ada, I'm your best friend. I will not deceive you. Just allow your father to marry whoever he wants to get married to. Please, own him. Oh, are you done? Please, you done? People should allow your father to get married. Please, get married, get married. Hold 
Yeah. Mm. And Uzo. Mm? I've been thinking. About what? Papa is really serious about this marriage thing. Yes. I wonder who is this, the girl that, that, that just took away his, his heart like that. I don't know. I, I don't just understand though. Um, I'm shocked myself. See, I wonder why Papa all of a sudden had decided to make a uh, remarry. It's, it baffles me. I'm wondering too. I'm wondering. I don't know. I don't know, but we can't help it now. We can't help it. Um, let's forget about Papa for now. Mm. Uh, there's no water in this house. Can you accompany me to this stream so we can get some water? Who? I'm not going anywhere. Uzo, you can't. You're not going. Uzo, huh? you're not going anywhere, Abi. Okay. Eh? Uzo, it's not fair. You, you, not, you have not been helping me in this house. Do you want to cry? You want to cry? So all the hard hard work that I've been doing in this house, have you been helping me? Which hard work? Ah, that baby. Leave me alone, I beg. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Go, 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 go. Okay, I'll go. Well, you help me and break those firewood at the back here, and if I follow it to the stream. You need somebody to follow it to the stream. Go and check and Don't. Don't do anything. Go and check and gossip. It's not that you're my two million dollars, eh? I'll have to it on you. I just enter village like this, so I just enter village. Hey. I never even walk out. Now they ask me when I they come back. Wait till they walk you now, they put you back there. <laughs> Boss my head for me, my brother. No, no shake you, no shake you, no let me. I go there like uh, two, three weeks, I go show. Hey, I need to now you feel cover up for me now. I don't know how. No shaking, no shaking. Ah, me and you go follow talk later now. So, how did it go? Good. I will be moving in with him this evening. <laughs> That's fine. But always remember the purpose of this marriage between you and my brother. Don't forget it. Always register it at the back of your mind. You get me right? I know. So, what's the next? Good. This bangle. Hmm? Anytime you're with my brother, 
make sure you always with this bango. And always know that your mission day is to poison all of them through food. So how am I supposed to do that without being implicated? Very, very simple. Now listen to me. Monitor when the daughter is cooking. Add the subtitles I give to you. Leave after adding it within two, three hours. You will see the magic. So your aim is to wipe out your brother entire generation. What's warranting such wickedness? Will you shut up? When will you learn how to how, how to how to how to face your own business? Hmm? When will you learn that? Now let's think, let's think good. Go there and do what I ask you to do. The rest is for me, not for you. I know how to handle issues. But the one I committed into your hand, go there and do it perfectly. There is no big deal in it. It's unfair. My, my name is Tony. I'm from the neighboring village, Obo. Mm -hmm. Where are you from? I, I just came into the village. I just came back. I've uh, been away for a very long time now. So I was just driving down. I saw you and I. I thought it wise to stop to know where this pretty lady is coming from. And as well to know her name. <laughs> you said you just came back. Oh, yes. I just came back. Who knows how many girls you have deceived with this your fine face and your big, big grandma? Come off it, come off it. I, I'm not like that, okay? I'm not that kind of person. I'm real here, I'm for real, okay? Hey, please, I'm in a hurry. My father sent me an error, please. Uh, 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 wait, are you just living like that? Without telling me your name and where you're from? My name is Ada, I'm from Ezekiel. Excuse me. Uh, uh, is that all? Wait now. <sighs> I just found my wife. Oh yes, I know I just found my wife. What is all this? What is all this? Hello. This is this is, this is getting too much. You are. A bloody born coward. Why are you playing hide and seek? Why don't you come out in the open? Come out in the open. Let us do it face to face. Every time you come out in my dream. Every time you come out in my dream, Drew, you do. Be careful. You are a bloody born coward. Come out in the open and face me one on one. Relax your mind, big brother. The work is already at your doorstep. Are you hearing me? You fighting me. It's like fighting the invisible. Let me tell you what. When the trumpet of this battle will be blown, in fact, you already gone. You understand me? You are what? Already gone. Let me tell you, you are just what? In fact, let me just go. Let me, let me just go straight to the point. The next thing that remains is just to start at your cups. You will die. You are the one to die, and I will spit at your cups. You know what? You are a useless dead man already. Hello. 
This is getting out of hand. What kind of dream is this? This is getting out of hand. This is really, really getting out of hand. They look. My son. I've been watching you for days now. You've not been yourself. What is the problem? A lot of things are going on in my mind, my son. I'm, I'm thinking about a lot of things. Papa. I'm telling you, I have no rest of mind here. Papa, whatever the problem is, you can share it with me. Papa, I am your son. And at 23, I'm no longer a, a little boy. If there's anything that is bothering you, you can share it with me. At least my input might go a long way. You see, my son, the dream I had four days ago is not a good dream. It is disturbing me. It is worrying me. Dream about my brother Ilu. That dream makes me to believe that my brother is up to something. Wait, your brother, is he still alive? Oh, we don't know, Ilu. He didn't die. Ilu is heartless. He is heartless. It is his wickedness and stubbornness that made him to run away from this village, disappear, that nobody knows where he is. Your brother we are talking about here is the person that wronged you. Huh? He wronged you by killing the one woman you, you once loved. Does it mean he doesn't feel any remorse for making you pass through pains years ago? I feel remorse. <laughs> you don't know who he is. He is evil. The only thing that worries me now is this dream. Because my dreams most times come to pass. How much more? When I daydream, it, it is worse because it comes to pass. All these dreams make me to believe that the wicked Ilu, my brother, is hanging around. He is very close. I've been calling you. What is it? What do you want from me? Ada. Ada, Ada, I want you to be the mother of my unborn children. Ada, I want to spend the rest of my life with you, Ada. How will I know that you are for real? Eh? How will I know that all these things you are telling me is true? Not after sleeping with me, you will go back to the city. Stop, Ada, stop it. Stop it, Ada. I'm not that kind of person, for God's sake. I'm not that kind of person. I thought what I feel for you is genuine. What I feel for you is real. I thought what I feel for you is raw. I also feel something for you. You are a nice person. You are caring. But... But what? But what, Ada? You've said it all. I'm a nice person. Then what else are you waiting for? Ada, allow me to take care of you. Allow me to bring out the beauty, the beauty in you, Ada. Why me? Does it mean there is no city girls that are more exposed than me? Oh, dear, you go again. There you go again, Ada. It is not all about those girls in the city. It is not all about their beauty. It is all about the woman, the very woman God has made for me. You are that right woman for me, Ada. Yeah, man. What has been delaying from accomplishing what I committed into your care? The man has not yet married me. Don't tell me that. You are living with a man. 
The man is uh, 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 enjoying you and you're enjoying the man. What less do you want? I don't want to hear that. What you need to do is just to make sure that you put what I ask you to do, you put them to work. Kill these people, poison them and let the family be cleared. Listen, Papa, you have to take it easy. I mean, killing an innocent man and his family is not an easy task. I need more time. No, will you shut your mouth? There is nothing like time. Why should you ask me to give time a time? You have the whole time in the whole world. I had my identity for 32 good years. I had it myself here and there. And you are here telling me about time. Will you shut your mouth? Tell me better thing to hear. Because of evil you committed against your brother. Instead of you asking of forgiveness, you are here planning a time. Come on, will you shut your mouth? Are you stupid? I choose to be what I am today. Because of what my brother did to me. For 32 good years, this man has been enjoying all our properties, the whole things our father left. It's true that somebody died, a girl died. And so, she can be, she can be buried silently. Nothing will happen. And nobody will hear about it. Because my brother wants me dead. All he did was to go to the village and gather them to kill me and bury me alive. And you are here telling me all sorts of nonsense. And now listen, I listen, God. All you need to do is just to go and make sure that you accomplish what I asked you to do. If you don't do that, you will regret your own life. The day you accomplish what I committed into your okay, care, that will be the day I will back to my own fatherland. Rubbish. No <laughs> more. No more. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know something? Um, I'm missing you already. Yeah, I miss you too. <laughs> <laughs> so when next will you be coming around? Mm, I should be asking you when you when are you coming to see my father? Hmm. When I will be coming to see your father. You're very correct. You're right. So you tell me. Give me a date. When do you want me to come and see your father? Mm -hmm. hmm. I'll say tomorrow. 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 Okay. As you mean my baby say tomorrow... And I say today. Yeah? Oh, yes. Like right now. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. That's why I love you. <laughs> love you too. So, you know something? Mm -hmm. Just give me a few minutes. Let me pick up my khaki. Okay? Okay. I'll wait till you. It's all right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> my father doesn't agree that he's, he's old. Huh? Look at the kind of beautiful girl my father picked to get married to. A very beautiful and sexy small girl. Oh. People should leave him. Uh -uh. People him. should allow him to marry whoever he wants to marry. No one is holding him. He can marry even if he wants to marry 10 of them. No problem. Well, he's preparing well. Uh -huh, Ngozi, mm -hmm. I'm going to my friend's house to go ma. You want to go to your friend's house? Yeah. Are you done washing the plates? If I come back, I'll wash it. Look at this girl. I beg, will you go and wash those plates in the kitchen? Baba, you're always going out. Who will wash it? Leave her now. Ah. Let this girl be with She's your younger sister, you know. She'll be pampering her. Eh, hey, Uzo, where is she from? I mean, ma. Okay. She says she's from Umago. Umago. Mm -hmm. I know the majority of the maidens there. Did she grow there? Well, I don't really know much about her. But according to what she told my father, she's an orphan. No mother, no father, no brothers, no sisters. Not even relations. Almost all the maidens in my girl are my friends. How come I don't know my before now? See, it's very, very possible. First, she might have grown up in the city. 
Yes, you may be right. It's mm. true. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. What is it? Uh, Papa is... Uh, well, my, my name is uh, Tony. I'm the son of uh, Chief Rolando Biegwe. Uh -huh. Chief Rolando Biegwe. Uh, so what? Uh, Ada happens to be my very good friend, sir. Mm, so I brought her back with my car. Mm, yes, sir. Okay. You brought her home with your car. Yes. So... I, I packed and uh, I thought it wise to come and greet you to know how you're doing, sir. All right. So, sir, I, I bet you take my leave. Seeing you are very good. It's all right. Go on, take care, sir. Thank you. Okay, Ada, be good there. You're a good friend. Huh? Yes, Papa. You're a good friend. Papa, it's not like that. Not you, you're just my friend, though. Ada, I is well in No, Papa. No, not uh, I was I was just wondering. I was supposed to be the one cooking. No, not Ada. She's stressing herself. It's all right. You are the wife of this house. You will cook, okay? Mm. Uh, you will cook. Don't worry yourself. Very soon you start to cook for us. And I know you mm. know how to cook. So, did you grow up in Umago? Yes, I did. Mm. Oh. A friend of mine that stays there says she doesn't know anybody by name, Ma. So, how come? <laughs> well, you know, Umago is a very big village. Yeah, that's true. Mm. And again, since I lost my parents, I hardly come out. That's another true. That's another true. So, which part of uh, Umago are you from? <laughs> Umuduru and Umago. Yes. Okay, 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 we'll do. Ah, okay, okay, no problem. Wow. But why all this question? <laughs> Nothing special. See, the truth is, very soon now my father will come and marry you legally. And you automatically become a stepmom. So mm -hmm. I thought it wise to know you better. You know, at least know where you're coming from. But now, you've told me, we'll do you know, my I have a meeting with a friend of mine. I'll see you when I come back. Okay. But is that even a place like Umuduro in Umago? But hmm, I just pray so. Uh -huh. Nah, I told him I'm from Umuduro in Umago. What do you mean? What is Umoduro no Umago? Is there any place called Umoduro or Umago? Imagine. You have just complicated the whole thing. There is no place called Umoduro in Umago. What do you mean, Papa? You know I don't know anywhere in Umago. I had to think of a name to give him. By the way, who is your Papa? Who is your Papa? I found out that there's nothing in this your brand. Nothing is in it. 
Because had it been you have something in your brain, we'd have no one thing or the other to say in order to corner that question. Okay, let me ask you this question. Assuming tomorrow, this man goes to Omoduru to verify where Omago is being located, what will you give him as an answer? No, what will you give him as an answer? Tell me. So what do I do now? You're asking who? Answer the question by yourself. Now listen and listen, God. The next thing you have to do is to make sure you kill these people either today or tomorrow before they go to one place or the other for verifications. That's the only thing you can do. And if you don't do it, of course you know. You will have a query to answer. And if you don't do it, of course you know what will happen to you. Ada, that boy that is always coming to see you. What is his name? Uh, Tony. Tony. What is he coming for? Eh? You've been going out and coming in with him. If he's serious, why don't he come and see me? So that I'll call my family. They'll see. We'll see he, he will see us. Papa, Tony is my very good friend. Papa, he said he wants to marry me. Yes, let him come and see us if he's interested in marrying you because I don't like this movement. Every day you go to him, the next day he comes to the house here and all that. It's getting too much. It's not done. Huh? So please, don't waste time. I want it to happen now, now. You are no longer a small girl. Papa, he will come. He will come very soon. Good. Let him come. I don't like this... Uh, before, before somebody's thing will become another person's thing. Tina, there is no place like Umujuri in Umuago. Are you sure? I'm very sure. I made inquiries and the people I asked said there's nothing like Umujuri. <laughs> Why would she lie to me? Honestly, I don't know. But don't worry, I'll still make inquiries. We're in this together, oh? Mama. Ah. What's up? Hey, Mama. It has been long. What's happened? Mama. I hope uh, Ngozi did not do anything that uh, make you not to come to, uh, to visit us again. Ah, Mama. Uh, Mama, I was helping my father in the farm, so I've not really been chanced, that's why. Come, oh, Sikwan. Uh, I was wondering, so how is your father? Papa is fine. Because I hope you have given him something to eat. Something. Yes, he has finished eating already. I beg, make sure you give him food. Mm. Nice pack. Who's up? Mm. Oh, Mama. I want be okay. There's something I want to tell you. Ah, uh, tell me. What is it? You know, I'll be 20 in the next three months. Mm -hmm. I was thinking you couldn't pay my bride price before then. Because, uh, mm -hmm. you know I'm still 23 years old. Don't you think this married thing is kind of too early? It's always too early. You said too early. What's that? Is that why your face is like that? Yes. Okay, come, come, come. This is what I will do. I will talk to my father about it and tell him I found the woman I want to spend the rest of my life with. And I will tell you what he says after. Will that make you happy? Are you sure? I'm sure. Listen, whatever makes me happy makes my father happy. So I have no doubt that he agreed to it. Mm -hmm. Now smile.
my daughter. You have been like this all this while. What is bothering you? Hmm. I have been having these uh, terrible dreams about my brother, Ilu. Another dream? Terrible dreams, indeed. Papa, and what is the meaning of this dream? I have seen Ilu over ten times in my dreams. Over ten times. And it's not a good dream. Ilu, listen to me. I'm not afraid of you. But I'm tired of running up and down, running away from you in the dream. And I'm not going to run again. Yes. I have done everything as an elder brother to bring love, unity between us as a brother. What have I not done? But what have you given back to me? You have made me to regret and hate having you in as my brother. But Listen, listen and listen, God. I am not here to battle west with you. I am not here to do what? To battle west with you. Because for 32 good years, I've been too far away from you. You have been enjoying all the properties our father kept for us. But I want to tell you today that I am next to you. It's not up to half yard. Register it at the back of your mind that in no distant time, I'm going to wipe off your family and take over your own space. Do you understand me? Nothing will ever stop me as long as I'm still alive. I am sitting close to you, and very soon you will be pushed out alongside your husband's family. And I shall take your place. <sighs> These words are scary. Mm. Ilu is closer than I earlier thought. I'm only worried. About you and my son Oza. Who truly are you? Ah, Ada, what are you talking about? and pretend as if you don't know what I'm talking about. Who sent you? And who are you working for? Did I hear you where am I working for? Ada, what is that? What nonsense is that? Why are you harassing her? What is it? Can't you allow her to rest? Can't you allow my wife to have peace? What nonsense is this? <laughs> I was... What was the meaning? Who does she mean by who am I working for? And who sent me? Don't mind them. Don't mind them. This is not their house. She will marry and get out of his house. The brother will also marry and get out. This is my house. We own this house. They are only jealous because they now see that I have a beautiful girl like you to enjoy. <laughs> I don't see any reason why people's children, somebody's son and the daughter, will want to be jealous of their father having a beautiful damsel to, to, to help me. Again, is bothering you. It's the constant bad dreams my father has been having about his brother. Did you just say dream? Yes. Then why would you allow dream keep you in such such condition? These are mere dreams. You call it normal. <laughs> this is not normal. You don't know my father. My father's dreams was like magic. You're telling me of another Joseph in this generation. Baby, let me tell you something. Even even if they work like anything, anything, it shouldn't keep you in this mood now. Huh? Come on, you have to be courageous. Cheer up, baby. You know something? I have something that will calm you down. Come on. Cheer up and have something to think like dooby 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 dooby. Bye. 
Hey, see, I'm really sorry about the way I talked to you the other day. I'm sorry. It's okay, Adeze. Mm. You know, I shouldn't have talked to you in that manner. It's very, very wrong. I'm sorry, okay? <laughs> Come on, Adeze, I say it's okay. I'm sad, I can't even recall it. You know what? You're such a beautiful girl. I wonder why such a beauty just wants to marry my father. I don't know. That means my father is still, is still active. <laughs> He's still a young man. Oh my God. <laughs> my dad, they are flattering me again. Oh. You know what? They say, your father is a very nice man. He needs someone that can take care of him. That is why I'm here. I have done well. <laughs> Thank you so much, okay? You're welcome. Mm. Thank you. I'm your friend now. Yeah. <laughs> ah. she going to? This road leads to Okwe. But she says she's from Umago. I will soon find out. Um, Ozo, I think the best thing for you to do is to come, uh, come over to the city and get something doing. Exactly. Papa? <laughs> that is great. Welcome, Papa. Hmm? That is a great statement you have just made. Good afternoon, sir. Mm. Who knows? Maybe his destiny lies in the city. Huh? So yes, put your eyes and look into it for me, please, Tony. It's so, awesome. Tony, how are you? I'm, I'm very good, sir. I'm very good. I I came around to see Ada. Oh. Uh, but I was told uh, you went to the farm with her. Yes, Ada, they are still in the farm. Herself and um, they have to finish weeding the portion of farm that they are living <laughs> today. Uh, then they will yeah. you know, come back. Sure. It's all right, sir. Uh, if that be the case, then I have to go to come back later in the evening. All right. She'll yes, be sir. around in the evening. Huh? Yes, sir. All right. Thank you, sir. Take care of yourself, too. Thank you, sir. Okay, now. Something I, I needed to let you know. Mm -hmm. I'll be leaving back to the city by next weekend. By next weekend. You see what I was saying? Eh? You just came here to deceive me and go back to the, the, the city. Ah, uh, well, we talk like this. See, baby, I love you, and that is it. Okay? But I need to get back to the city. I need to get back to my working place. To know how things are going over there. See, if you are very serious, mm, come and see my people. So that you can pay my bride price. Is that the only problem? You know I love you. As a matter of your fact, you're just, you're just the best thing that has ever happened to my life. My coming down from the city to this village is just, you're just the beauty of my, of my coming down. I love you so dearly. I love you so much. And you know something? Mm -hmm. Give me a smile. Let that smile more brighter. 
I will surely come and see your people before I go back to the city. Hmm? Don't worry. I see. For real. Oh my God. Thank you. For the best. <coughs> ah, big bro. Ah, yeah. Big bro. Yeah. Yeah. Big bro. That's good, sir. I actually came to open the gate for you. No, apart from that. It will be your please come. Come on, bro. Big bro. Yeah. The reason why I called you is very important. Hope all is well. <laughs> it's actually good news, you know. Mm, it's good news. <laughs> Big bro. Yeah. The way I'm seeing things. Okay. I think I found a wife. Very good. Good news. <laughs> Where is she from? Uh she's from our neighboring village, yeah. The Kepa. It's the Kepa. Uh -huh. uh, thank you very much. No, say you don't tell why, baby. I'm like, I'm Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. where she's from. Okay, 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 okay. Um, when are we going to see the parents? The way I'm looking at it. Yeah. I want to do everything very fast. As quick as possible. So, pick a date. I will join you. <laughs> <laughs> big bro, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. why I always talk about you. So, 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 you are so. the best big brother in the whole wide world. Spare me that. In fact, I call you Big Brother Niger. Come on. <laughs> Thank you very much, big bro. Okay, Thank okay, you very okay, much. okay. You are the best. You're welcome. You're welcome. You know something? Yeah. I actually have something. You would like to see. Oh, let's go inside. Okay, okay, let's go for real, for real. Yeah, I got something in life, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got some! Uh, my friend, now that we are eating color, tell us why you are here. <clears throat> my elders, I greet you people. Oh, okay. We saw a beautiful flower in your family and we came to plug it. <laughs> uh, which one among you wants to plug the flower? My brother, too. Aye, sir. Aye. Well, we have so many beautiful flowers in our compound here. This is mango. This is coconut. This is beer. And with so many other, just to mention but a few, which of the beautiful flowers do you need? Is it a human beautiful flower or ordinary flower? Uh, my elders, I greet you. Uh, the very flower I... I'm looking for actually a very wonderful and precious flower. And that flower happens to be a human being. And her name is Ada. Hmm? Ada. Welcome. Ada. <laughs> Ada. 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 Go and call your sister. Okay. Be fast, eh? Ada. Ada. Come this side. Come this side before they will carry you and go. They have not paid anything or done anything. What is all that? Why are you going to stay at, on, at his back? Uh -oh. <clears throat> Ada, you know this paper here? Yes, Papa. Which of, the, which of them do you know better? Papa is Tony. Ah. <laughs> uh, so, uh, Adam, my daughter, what you're saying is that we should drink the drink they brought. Yes, sir. Ah. Let's drink. Let's drink. Papa, we can go back. We can drink. Go back. We are finished with you. Yeah. I'm confused because nobody knows his plan or where to fight back from. Yeah, uh, I am not worried about myself. I don't care what Ilu will do to me, but I am so much worried about my children. He may want to harm them. No, no way. He has nothing against their children. Forget it. Okay. If Ilu 
is not a coward. Why don't Elu come out in the open? And let's do it one on one. Let's do it man to man. Let's do it. Huh? Oh, no way. Let us go. Huh? Oh, 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 oh. This one is funny, seriously. Let me be honest for once. Okay, okay. Eh, eh, Ugoma. What is going on between you and Duchi? Nothing between and Duchi. There's nothing going on with me and Duchi. And uh, I'm your girlfriend. Come on, just tell me. Did you say anything? Mm-hmm. Nothing. My dear. Duchi is very short guy and uh, ugly. I can't think talk of marrying him. He's not chasing after me. Okay, okay, okay. If you don't like him, just tell him that you don't like him. So that he will just get his eyes or his mind off from you. Simple. I never left Uche for one day. Talk of liking him. That's by the way. Um, I want to go and sing with Are you going with me? Yes, I'll go with you. But let me ask you, please. Where is also your brother? I haven't seen him. Eh, eh, biku, biku, biku. He's okay. Why are you asking about Oza? See, Oza belongs to Ngozi. Ngozi belongs to Oza. So keep your eyes off him. Ah, ah wait, 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 wait. So if you are going, come. Ah. Mango, my daughter, what's the problem? Why is your face like this? I hope you are not sick. No, mama. Hmm? Then what's the problem? Is there anybody provoke you? No, mama. Mama is Uzo. It's Uzo. What's the problem? I hope Uzo is not sick. Mama, I don't know what is stopping you from coming to pay my bride price. Ah, ah my daughter, I'm going to say, ah, ah. I will be too so promise you in two months' time. Why are you in a hurry? Eh? A says patience for him. He will come. And you know things are hard nowadays. So you have to run around to get money to come and pay for your bride price. Eh, my daughter? Cheer up. Eh? Mama, you know, I understand. Mama, what's the problem? Mama is Ugoma. Who is Ugoma? Which Ugoma? Eh? Mama, you know Ugoma. Her dad's friend. And then what about her? Mama, I don't like the way she's looking at Uzo. Uzo saw all these people. And he still picked you. Eh? Hey, have patience for him. Eh? What is yours is yours. Nobody will take him away from you. Oh, my daughter. Cheer up. Eh? Ma. What is your problem? What is bothering you? Ma. I am so worried. I mean, very worried about the dreams I've been having concerning my brother Ilu. Mommy, I've told you countless number of times. Those things are mere dreams. It shouldn't allow it to bother you. Okay? Oh, ma, they are not mere dreams. I know my dreams. My dreams come to pass. I know that my brother, Ilu, is very close as I see this dream. Ilu is very close and he wants to do something. He's up to something. He's up to some evil deed. And that is why I'm going to go to Arundi Zog with Ichioka for tomorrow to go and find out what Ilu is up to. Because we must look for the black goat before darkness comes. We must stop him. I have to. Tomorrow. 
And you think that's the right thing to do? To me, if you ask me, that is the right thing to do. That is the right thing to do. We must break the loop and stop him from his evil. Ada, I've heard the noise, but um, I was just waiting to confirm more from you. Nine. They are now history. I'm very, very happy and glad. You've done well. You know what? Go to Ezekiel Bar. I'm coming right there to come and possess my position. Something somebody has been enjoying for 32 good years. I'm coming right now. In no distant time, I'll be there just to take over my properties. Okay. Yes, finally I'm home. So, so this bastard let her build a house. 
no place like home. For 32 good years, I've been away from home. But today I'm back. At least Isaac Ekpa will know that Akinu, Akilu Atata is back. <laughs> At least I can enjoy myself. No place like home. What has come over you? Who are you? I'm asking you, who are you? <laughs> You're asking who am I? I am Akilo Atata, Johnny brother to Vincent Adwekwe, my lovely brother. Oh, my brother. May your soul and the soul of your siblings rest in peace and It is your soul that will constantly and continuously rest in peace. Where are you coming from, Ilu? You useless man, that points you devil. I thought you were dead. What are you doing in my house? Vincent. So you are still living? Oh. Don't be to the gods. For keeping my brother alive. Mm. What did you say to me? I said what? That I poisoned them as you planned them. I was actually close to it, But because I'm not wicked as you are, I changed my mind. Don't eat the food, don't eat the food. Don't eat it. Don't eat it. Yeah? Don't eat the food. Don't eat the food what? The food is poison. Food is poison? Food that we cook in the house? Who poisoned the food? I did. The food I cooked by myself. Can you imagine? Huh? Ma she actually told us how you manipulated her. But today, she is my law. Come on, shut up! Shut up! You imbecile! You useless idiot! I killed your parents. Yes. Hey. <laughs> I spare your life, hoping that you'll be useful to go for me tomorrow. I don't know that you're going to be a useless idiot. And you, Vincent, I killed our parents. Eh? Our parents? Because they love you the more, more than me. I dreamed of what the wood you this would have to you. And I said, such a thing would never happen. Over my dead body, I will not be alive and experience that. That is why I killed them. You are a monster. If not this useless idiot, you, ma. If not this, the, 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 this imbecile. Listen, you and your siblings, I would have wiped all of you. Hey. You will disappear from here. You will die. And not for you. For all the atrocities that you have committed, the entire Zikiba have decided to give you due punishment. Yes. 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 Boy, Isu, yeah. tell him. You to Gwen. You to Gwen. Well, Akira Tata, for the crime you have committed in this community, the entire village has agreed that the youth will flog you and will take you around the whole village and also bury you alive and your head yes. will be turned wow. upside down. Yes. 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 Get him, let's go here. Get him. Get him out. Yes. Get him. Get him. Move. 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 Move.